All this talk of veterans, citizens' committee, strikers, I swear it's going to make me brain implode. And I haven't even had a chance to brag about me invention, which, if I do say so myself, is nothing short of revolutionary. Take a look here. Variable lens for optimal focus. Telescopic viewfinder. You're looking good there. This happens to be the only one-man play in Manitoba, performed on a trolley bus. And who would think of that? Well, it'd have to be Danny Shear. And Danny, you have the special pronunciation of this play. Sam's Spiel. Not Spiel, like Bon Spiel, but Spiel. And that's how I pronounced it. <laughs> and I stand corrected. All right, the whole premise, though, is a theme that we're very familiar with. It's a general strike. In fact, it's June 21st, 1919. Stuff hasn't happened yet, but the audience on the moving trolley is journalists. And here in Newspaper Row is where they would have been and hired a trolley. And actor Justin Schaefer plays the photographer. He's going to take the pictures. The audience is the journalists. And they rove around the Exchange and Broadway to the very places where those historic pictures were taken that we know. And magically, the pictures are taken by the actor and out comes something that you can see and it's interactive. Uh, and the premise is he's invented the instant camera, which as crazy as it sounds, actually did happen then. This is where the real magic comes in. Now, recall when I told you I could get your pictures quicker than any? Well, that was no idle threat, you see, because my invention completely eliminates the need for a dark room laboratory and the chemicals to develop the film negative. My camera, in effect, miniaturizes the dark room into the camera housing itself, with the end result being an instant photograph immediately upon the taking. Impossible, you say. Well, what if I were to tell you that every picture you peered at today was taken with this self-same apparatus? Still don't believe it. Well, you'll be a believer once we start snapping. That, I can assure. There's a couple of dates that people want to know about, right? Yeah, Sunday, August 12th, and Sunday, September 2nd. We space it out about every two weeks. Okay, location and time? It's at 11 o'clock, and it starts right here in the heart of Newspaper Row at the Winnipeg Free Press News Cafe, which is where journalists met in those days. So you actually start and end from the very place that all this stuff happened. It's very cool. Very, very interesting. So folks, right here where we're standing right now doing this interview, 1919, some famous reporters were roaming the streets. Exactly. Yes, could have been someone like Danny. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very welcome. It is Sam's Spiel. Nice, very good. There you go. For Backstage, I'm Tracy Koga. And don't be asking me how I built the thing. That's for me to patent and make my millions. And one day you can say, I met the maker of the instant camera, Samuel G. Lockhart. Of course, you might have met me in my previous career as an actor, but there's a lot more millions in inventing the instant camera than there is in acting. That I can attest. And sure, she's not much to look at, I'll give you that. And she's prone to bouts of finickiness and downright orneriness. But she's a prototype, don't forget. And ach, when she does work, well, it's a thing of beauty. You'll see.